Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back once again to a bit more Star Citizen. So at the moment we are back inside of that pirate base that we started out in last time, that goes by the name of Grim Hex. But with the release of the 2.6 update, came this really cool new bar that's kind of tucked behind the two elevators. Now before we go outside and check out what kind of missions are available, I did want to stop by the weapons and armor store just to see what kind of new stuff is available and that should just be upstairs somewhere so I'll see you guys once we're there and you know other than the bar I think there's also quite a few other new things that have been added to Grim Hex I mean for one the whole place just kind of looks a whole lot better in general and I know I didn't show it but there's also a back door to that bar which leads to a whole new EVA section and I believe that might even be that area down there but like we saw last time this here is the weapon and armor store and it looks like they may have a few new suits I think maybe two new ones because this here on the far left I believe that one's always been available over in Port Alizar, but the Calico Light Armor and then the Dust Up Medium Armor, those are both definitely new. Now I would love to buy one just because it looks so damn cool, but then again, I feel like the visibility on it wouldn't be all that great. Just because those eyes would obviously be quite a bit smaller than what we have available with our big open visor right now. So I think in terms of that we might as well just hold off, at least for now. But yeah, apparently rumor has it that there's a derelict starfarer floating around in the yellow asteroid belt, which is the same one that we're in right now. So I was thinking it might be pretty fun to bring out the old cutlass and go try and hunt that down. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention was that there's this new group of pirates that have sort of flooded the system, and they go by the name of the Nine Tails. I've only ran into them a few times so far, but from what I can tell, they are quite a bit tougher than the old pirates that were here. And I'm not sure if we're going to see them over by the Starfarer wreck, but we'll keep our guard up, just in case. And also another thing we might want to knock out, maybe after we find that Starfarer, would be our Wanted level. And to reduce that we'll have to go all the way to Security Post Korea. Now there's usually quite a bit of activity around that area, so once again, that's just another thing we gotta watch out for. But for the time being, I guess we'll continue flying around this asteroid belt until we hopefully run into that Starfarer or maybe even something else. Well guys, it's taken me quite a while, but I think we may have finally found it because that is definitely a Starfarer down there. The only problem is, apparently there's two of them. And I mean, for the most part, they seem like they're in fairly good shape, don't they? At least judging by the radar. Alright, never mind. These things have got holes all over them. Yeah, seeing all this damage really makes me wonder what the hell did this to him. Whatever it was, it couldn't have been good. That's for sure.
Luckily, though, I didn't see any other ships flying around. Although... I think I can hear one flying around in the distance. gonna have to keep an eye out for him because whoever it was they didn't take the time to stop here so I'm not sure what they were doing in these parts but now that we're here I really want to try and find out what exactly went down because like I said I guess it could have been the nine tails even though I don't really see any remnants of them. But man, oh man. These things got torn to bits. Which kind of makes me wonder if maybe it was something bigger than them or Quite a bit worse than Nine Tails. Because they usually fly in smaller ships, and I guess you could make the argument that the Starfarer is a rather big and slow one. But then again, it does have the weaponry to sort of back that up. Looks like this should be our way in, though. So now to try and find some kind of clue. What's weird is all the cargo, or at least most of it, is still here. So who knows, maybe it wasn't pirates. Or maybe they just ran out of room. Either way, this ship is creepy as hell. That's one thing I'm sure of. I mean, just listen to it creak. Feels like it's gonna fall apart right on top of us. Oh, and these red lights are so eerie. I do not like this one bit. Alright, come on, flashlight. Don't give out on us now. Yeah, I know they're not in the game right now, but I feel like... in the future we'll definitely be seeing aliens aboard some of these derelict ships. Alright, still no signs of what happened, really. But I think there might be a few more levels above us, and then... the command room as well. And that should be right over here. Oh, wow. They didn't even have time to get the escape pods out. That is too bad. So the whole crew must have been vented. What's this, though? Alright, maybe that'll tell us what happened. Oh, 
Let's see. Seriously, screw you guys. Three runs? I've done three runs for you and still haven't gotten paid. You aren't the only ones with debts to pay. And while this may be your family's business, it sure as hell isn't mine. Maybe if you guys made sure to actually pay your clients on time, this wouldn't happen. More than once I've seen Jameis tell clients to pay him whenever it's convenient. Guess I shouldn't be surprised if this happened. Fruit Family Fuel may be fine with doing a hard day's work and not getting paid, but the hell if I am. And I'll be filing a breach of contract, or lost wages complaint, or whatever the hell they're called, against both of you the second I'm off this tub. Yeah, something tells me he never got the chance to do that. But that couldn't have been all. There's got to be something else. Because usually in cases like these, it seems like they would at least have a little bit of time to maybe send out a distress call or something of that nature. Okay, here's our way up. Oh, and this is right into the vents. Oh, man. Yeah, this is gonna be a tight fit, isn't it? Maybe we gotta find another way around. Okay, this seems to be the right way. This might even be where the crew sleeps. So maybe that's a good sign. And there's those vents we saw. Oh, and it goes up even further? Wow. Yeah, I knew the Starfarer was pretty big, but not this big. And you know, I'm starting to hear beeping again. Oh, there's another pad. At least I think. Yeah, there we go. So this one says, hey Adana, if I know you at all, you're probably not talking to me. First, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the meeting with Avvar. I knew you'd be against talking to them, but I couldn't risk it happening. You have every right to be angry at me for keeping it from you, but you know how you get sometimes. Honestly, I don't know how to handle you when you get all worked up. You've been that way since we were kids. Remember that incident with Mom's Cutlass? Guess I wanted to avoid all of that drama until everything was official. See, damn it, it's hard to admit this to you. Fruit Family Fuel is running deep in red, and I don't see a way out. I did everything I could to try and find a way out, put the house up as a collateral for the loan, but nothing worked. Just a dumb luck, I guess. Selling to Avvar is our only option to stay flying with some creds, in our pockets, and a shred of dignity. I know you'd argue with all of your heart against it, but you don't know the numbers like I do. This system's a different place since Dad started all this. Dad never had to hire a full-time turret gunner for protection. Competition's grown so fierce that the low fuel prices can't cover our skyrocketing costs. At least if we operate under Avvar's banner, we'll have some support during these tough times. The business may not be in our name after this, but it'll still be ours. I know you hate me right now, but just remember that as your brother, I love you, and I only want to do what's best for all of us. Well, whenever you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Okay, so at least something like that tells us that 
times are getting a bit tough and maybe this area might have had some pirates in it or I guess the competition might have been trying to get at them too. You never know. Now I don't think the two families or businesses tried to kill each other, but obviously they didn't work well together. That's for sure. But anyways, we got that last ship to explore, and then we should be able to get the hell out of here. So I'm not sure if you guys still remember, but there may be that other ship still lurking around. Or I guess he could have even got out by now. So we have really got to keep an eye out for him. Otherwise, I think he could easily get the jump on us. And you know, maybe we even ought to turn our flashlight off for now. Just in case. Let's see what this one says, though. Oh, and this is from Jalen Walsh. So that's a completely new guy. But he's saying, Summer, I think I figured it out. I was just on the bridge for the last few hours, bored out of my mind, and it hit me like a lightning bolt. Had to sneak away so I could get this idea to you before I forgot it. What if, at the end of the party scene, we reveal the ship has a smuggler compartment that Hector didn't know about? So he's had the magical relic on board the entire time. That's why the pirates don't want to damage the ship and destroy what's on board. Plus it gives them a reason to board the ship and take him hostage instead of blowing him out of the sky. Then we can keep that scene we love where he's locked in that cell and... I gotta run. Cap keeps yelling at me over the comm, but you get the idea, right? Roll that around in your mind for a bit and... I'll call you the second Cap gets off my back. Okay, very cool. Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. That's gotta mean he must know we're in here though. So we better hurry this up and then get the hell out. So the shooting died down for a bit and I was able to make it back to the ship. But we without a doubt have company. You could say it might be worth exploring, but... When we were inside the Starfarer, I don't think those shots were at us. I'm pretty sure that was just a big battle going on outside. And maybe that guy who just flew off was the last survivor. Because all these other ships are really beat to hell. Alright, I can see someone down there. But after all that's happened, there is no way he's friendly. Looks like that got him. Yeah, I just ended up seeing him out of the corner of my eye, but I came down here to show you guys how many ships are really here. Because there was the Origin ship that we saw take off, and also this big constellation. But I didn't realize there was also another Cutlass here too. And I know there's probably not even a chance we were able to collect all those data pads. But seeing as how this place has sort of turned into a bit of a war zone, 
I'd say it's probably safer we just get out while we're on top and head to that security post while we still can. Because we do have a pretty high wanted level at the moment and it might have gotten even worse because I think this whole area is still monitored space. Now I thought we might have to travel to a Kamare first just to get around the planet, but we might actually be far enough over. Yeah, because there it is right there. Quantum drive is now on. So here we go. And so far, so good. Although, I think if we get a bit closer, we might start picking up any ships that are on the landing pads. Guess we'll have to wait and see, though. Landing gear down. Okay, see, there's one over there. Landing request approved. Autopilot is now on. Now I'm not sure if he's going to be inside or if he's maybe floating around out here. So just in case, I'll go ahead and use the side door. Landing. Because usually no one ever suspects that. So hopefully, this will do the trick. Now I think here's the big decision we gotta make, and that's do we want to go inside while he's still there? Or do we take the chance and wait for him to leave and risk someone else showing up while we're inside? Now, whoever it is, I don't think they're doing the security job. So we may have that going for us. But even still, it's very rare that you meet someone you can trust here. Although I will say when it does happen, it's always pretty damn cool. But I think for now, we might as well just take the chance and head inside. Alright, so now all we need to do is head inside and then... I guess get downstairs as fast as possible. So that way we can hack that terminal. It should take us a while before that thing completes, but... If it really is only the one other guy here, then we shouldn't have... Too much to worry about. And for all we know, maybe he's already on his way out. Okay, so this is where it gets really tricky. Because as soon as we start hacking, the whole entire place is going to know we're doing it. So now we got to find some spot to hide. And since our wanted level is pretty high, I think we may have to do that multiple times too. So this may be a while. Okay, that's not good. Who the hell has our ship? Oh, you know what? Maybe it was the Aurora pilot. Not sure why you didn't just fly that, but oh well.
Okay, so I know that terminal still hasn't finished up. But at the very least, we're going to need a ride out of here. So I think what I'll do is head outside for now. And we'll try and find ourselves a ship. Because who knows, maybe the Aurora's been blown up and we just didn't hear it. And I guess that might explain why he took ours. Yeah, it's definitely gone. Well, guys, I think I finally found what we've been looking for. It's quite a ways away, but way over there looks to be a constellation. So I think that should be our ticket out of here. The only problem is I just don't know if there's crew aboard that or not. Alright guys, looks like we're pretty much here. And from what I can tell, I think the ship's power is off. Or at least most of it. And now somehow we gotta get inside. Alright guys, so we're officially aboard, and from what I can tell, I don't think the crew is here. Yeah, this entire thing's empty. Luckily for us. But I think it should be clear flying from here on out. Unless, of course, that other ship we heard might still be around here. System check. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. Although, we can't really move around, can we? This all seems a bit strange. I really don't know, but maybe that's why they left it here. I guess the damn thing broke down on them. So I finally made it back, but now it looks like there might be... another ship down there checking out the constellation. So I think at this point we just gotta hope maybe he decides to come back up here. Which should give us a ride out of here. Oh, wow. Yeah, luckily that's just a stolen vandal ship and not the real deal. Okay, looks like he's gone. Which means this should be our chance. But I will say it has been quite a while since I've last flown one of these. 
So this may be a bit rough. That being said, thanks for watching guys, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Quantum.